G'day everyone, we are back for the end of the month haul um, that we all seem to enjoy watching and getting enabled from and going, oh, I want that too. So I am going to go through a few different things um, for this one. First off, I'm going to talk about my Happy Mail. I am, um, I got spoiled absolutely incredibly rotten um this month and i'm not sure why and i'm i'm truly just it just blows my mind that people send me things just purely out of kindness and um i i yeah I, it's it's a crazy thing so i'm gonna put these off to the side first and then we'll go through this so the first thing i received was of uh raya from raya colors and she just sent me a little package with some empira um so some stickers and all of that in there but what she did send me which i've just got to take off because i have it up on display was she sent me one of her colorings which i was so I, when she said she was sending me something i was like please be sending me this and um so it's up on my um on my shelves on display and um I'm just so grateful for th that. Um and it was just it was just such a touching little little gift and um it was incredible. So I'm just putting that back up so I don't lose it. Okay. Then my of course beautiful friend Angie um sent me a few little things as well. So she sent me a lovely little card. I'm not going to show what the card says inside but just a nice little card that says a friend is everything good about life and um it's just just such a sweet little card and um so she sent me some more zocks which are the um affirmation bracelets so it says here our goal was to simple to build a community around love encouragement and passion for doing good in order to get people excited about a vision we realized that we needed to improve provide a key, an icebreaker that would introduce them to other kind souls trying to change the world. That key is Zox, the collectible wristband you're holding now. Individually numbered and never reproduced, Zox combines beautiful artwork with positive messages. They're little hugs for your wrist to remind you every day how truly important and unique you are. So I got, because this month was um, Colour with Pride, was the hashtag that I did, um, Angie sent me a rainbow one, a pride one, which was absolutely beautiful. And it just says, love wins. So in all my years on this earth, one thing that's held more true than any other, love always wins. And these, um, these come with, um, a pattern and on, in, on the inside is also the affirmation and the number, the individual number is on there as well. And then I got this one which is a double wrist brand, wrist band. Ah, 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 ah. Got to get it out. Um, and this one says, no matter the storm, get back up, which is um, very in line with my favourite um, saying, which is fall down um, seven times, get back up eight. Um, it's a Japanese proverb. And um, it's that kind of thing. So that was really sweet. And then this is the coolest thing was... She got me a little, um, I didn't realize I had these. It's like a little, um, what do you call it? Embellishment that goes on the bracelets, which says one day at a time, which is really, really, really sweet. I love that. Um, yeah, so I got them, which is really cool. And now I can wear them now that I've showed them. And then she also sent me some books. So the first book she sent me was Fairies in Dreamland. She sent me Gnomes in the Neighbourhood last month. And now she sent me Fairies in Dreamland. I'm like, girl. But this was, these are just sweet, sweet books. And if you've been watching Ashley Colours, you would have seen Ashley do a few of these. There are a, one done, two done in here, which you'll see for my end of the month um, colouring pages. But yeah, they're just all whimsical little pictures of fairies in dreamland. So lots of them are about them sleeping. And I love that. I can't wait to get in and um, do all of those different mattresses. It kind of reminds me of the princess and the pea. Then she sent me through um, a Julius Fairy book. So I got the Fanciful Fantasies. 
So 50 unique colouring images. And these are that. I think I'm going to do a um, proper flip through of a few of these books um, so that you can see that. Um, let me know if there's any in particular you really want to see a flip through, but I'm just going to try in the next week or so to do a, a few of them. This one here also is um, leading into my hashtag for July, which is Colour Japan in July. So she got me the um, Japanese Girls by Ikuko. And this is just awesome. So it's um, 22 hand-drawn images, but double. And what you get in here are some grayscale images of some Japanese girls. And the front half is on white. And then the second half is on black. So those that like to use markers and have that black background, that is the second. I love that. So <clears throat> I got them. Then I um, Evelyn was a sweetie and sent me off my wish list the Windsor and Newton um, 48 set of coloured pencils. So these are it here. I have a um, video up on my channel of me swatching these and doing a first impressions um, and a colouring with them. They are lovely, lovely pencils. Very, very glad that they were on my wish list and that I've ended up with them. They are a really nice set of pencils. All right, sorry, I was just taking a drink. And then last but definitely not least in the Happy Mail, um, the person that sent me this wishes to remain anonymous, and I respect that. But they sent me the um, Karen Dash portrait set and the four extra pencils that come with it. So the 24 pencils. Um, they're not in here, which will lead on to um, what I go on to next. Um, they, it was just, just honestly such a, a shock um, to, to receive them. And um, yeah, now I'm like, <sighs> I need to save my, my, my pennies for the rest of them. Okay, let's get on to pencils. Okay, we all like the pencils. Well, I like the pencils. I got myself the Marco Square um, C800s, the 48 colours that go with the Marco Square pastels. So, already had the Marco pastels, and these are the 48. Oh, look at that. Casper hair everywhere. 48 set of colours. So I got that and now I feel I've got this pencil case. Oh, I love this pencil case. This is my square pencils pencil case. How pretty is it? I've got the brute finners and then oh, when they get all crooked, very irritating, stay straight, into the Marcos. And I'm like, ooh, I like this pencil case. Very pretty. So I got that. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I also um, made an order for the remainder of the light fast pencils that I needed. Um, so I needed about 12 or so. Annoyingly, so annoyingly, the um, store that I get the light fast from here in Australia, two pencils. Two pencils they didn't have in stock. So I still don't have the full set. And it's like, oh. <gasps> Frustration. Look, look, look. Frustrating. I've got a, a gap there. And then I've got the Luminance portrait set plus four here. And then I went on when I was getting the light fast. And I'm like, I know I'm going to save for the 76 set. But I was like, I just, I just couldn't help myself. And I put some extra Lumis in the cart because I'm like, these are the ones that I'll probably go through the most anyway, um, the ones that relate to portraits and skin tones. So I grabbed um, the white, the buff titanium, um, the burnt ochres, uh, the burnt siennas, and yeah, that's, that's what I think I've got. I think that's what I ended up with. Burnt ochres uh, and brown ochres. There you go. I was having a look. So they're the, the extra ones that I, I, I shouted myself. Oh, this one isn't around the right way. Oh, look at this. Because I've just been colouring with um, 
I've just been doing an image using up using the Lumis um, that I just finished and I haven't I'm naughty with myself I haven't put them back in right way up okay but I needed new pencil cases so <laughs> so I bought some I got this one and I got a pink one and I got a gray one because I do still have some pencils on their way and um, I'm like well I need to be ready so I got myself some more pencil cases so that was the next step because if you buy pencils you need to put pencil put the pencil cases to go with them and um, I like to write on the side of my pencil cases but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna reorder them all now which is luckily you know acetone gets rid of sharpie but I like to write on the um, the end what is in there so that's why I like the plain ones but yeah so I've got that so that's kind of it for the pencils now we'll get into the books that I bought myself okay so I got myself the Sherry Baldy My Besties Beautiful Japanese Geisha Girls um Shannon is having a uh, a spotlight on Sherry Baldy for July and I didn't have any of her books and I also knew that I was focusing on Japanese images or Japanese illustrators for July so I got this and um I will do a flip through of this but it's just cute little geishas and there's double images of these so I got myself that one um Ashley had a Jashley um, colour along. Oh my god, brain not working for July. So I got myself the Fantasy Collection, not knowing, as you will see in a second, that he was going to release Colouring Heaven one. But I um, I got this. Look, there's a Japanese one. Um, so I grabbed this book, and there is a completed page in there that I did for her hashtag. Uh, Shell is doing the Julia Speary in um, July and I grabbed this book, um, An Enchanted World, because there was an image in here that I want to do for that um, colorathon. So I grabbed this book, but now I have two Julia Speary's books, so I've got lots to choose from. And then this was just a sweet one from one of my best friends um, who grabbed it for me because she knew, obviously, that I, I'm not doing well and things like that. And she just saw this and she knows how I feel about butterflies and what June is to me. And um, so she just grabbed me this little butterfly book, which is really sweet. It's got ladybugs and butterflies. I, I, I'm pretty happy with that. So, And then lastly, I got my Colouring Heaven so this is the one done by Josh Lee. I didn't realise until I read this that he's only 24. I'm like, whoa, so impressive. Um, there have been many flip throughs of this, but it's a story based um, book and beautiful, beautiful images. So that is what I got book wise. So that's kind of mostly of, you know, the colouring books and the pencils. And now it's just all of the other random stuff that I've managed to get myself. And I, of course, forgot to get it out. Oh, gosh. So I think I was only, when I did my collection video last month, I was talking about, uh, I'm going to get myself a decent paper cutter. Well, Aldi come to, Aldi come to the rescue. And um, they had one there. So I got myself a paper cutter. It's got a... Um, guillotine on one side and a three different cutter on this side so perforated straight or curvy edged um, <clears throat> however it was only in um, centimeters and a lot of the you know a lot of the things that you follow and obviously the paper pads are 12 by 12 which doesn't quite line up with 30 by 30 so I found I actually had a sticker of um, a ruler so I have just added the um, inches there so that I can use that. So I grabbed myself a whopper of a paper cutter. Um, has been quite hilarious, me trying to figure out how to use it. Um, it hasn't been all that successful. It's a little bit large for me. I got myself some pencil extenders. I'm just off eBay. J 
just in case I needed them. So I grabbed myself them. Then I got myself some chipboard, some medium weight chipboard, nothing too exciting. Um, this is to do some of my compendiums and some paper crafts that I do. Um, so I grabbed some of that. Then I was in Officeworks and I grabbed just some, this was like reduced right down to like two bucks. So I grabbed myself some um, cardstock. Nothing too exciting there. All right, oh, bringing over the container of goodies. Got myself some matte Mod Podge. I'm going to try and do some tra image transfers. So I grabbed myself that. Grab myself some ink pads. Linkcraft was having 40% off sale the other day. I think I already have these colours in different types, but, you know, I saw it and I grabbed it. I got myself some more blending stumps, mainly because I wanted the sanding, sanding duvalacky thingy. You know, the one that's going to keep these all think. Yeah, no, good words. I have lots of good words. Then I grabbed myself some more stencils. Um, a lot of these are background related stencils, so I grabbed them. They're just from the cheap shop. Um, I saw them all and I thought they would be pretty good to do some different background designs and also for stamping and paper crafts and things like that. So I grabbed myself some stencils and then whilst I was there, I went, oh, stamps, pretty. So I grabbed myself some fairy stamps. And some flower stamps and some letter stamps because you know we need all of this stuff, not. And then also while I was making the Light Fast and the Lumis order, I added some more Copics to the supply. So we got um, some purples so that we have. Or I already have a light purple, or George already has a light purple. So we got a trio of purples, and then we got a trio blend of greens. And also a pile of refills. So the art shop here in Australia has bought out all of the old stock, or the you know discontinued stock of the bigger refills. So you can still get them there for the same price as their, the half-sized ones that they sell now. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to buy from there while I can. Then while I was there in office works and all as well, I got myself a little single hole punch. And oh, wait up there at Linkcraft, I got some matte um, black chalk paint. And I got myself some more. Um, I always go to the clearance section because these kind of things are always in the clearance section at um, office works. And they're good to add into when I make the the um, compend me and oh words are hard, you know those things. Um, so I grabbed them, and then they had washi tape on clearance, and I don't need washi tape. If you saw my collection video, I have a box full of washi tape. But hey, I grabbed some more anyway because they were on clearance and they were cheap, and so I grabbed myself a whole pile of washi tape that I do not require, but. It's, it's just what you do. Um, I'm a sucker for a sales, sales um, ticket. And again, because it was on clearance, I got myself another new little sharpener. I like these little handheld sharpeners. They're really good for the bigger pencils, like the square brutes and things like that, that don't necessarily fit into the sharpeners that I have. And when I go away and stuff, I'm not going to take a big sharpener. So these ones that actually hold it and stuff, I like them and they're good to control if you're trying to get a certain thing all right that my people is i think it for what i bought in june is there more probably can i remember no will i find some after this absolutely but it give, kind of gives you a bit of an idea now, in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm going to go on a no buy in July. And I say that all the time. Am I going to follow through? Probably, absolutely not, because somehow I will be enabled. But I have ordered things, I have got things ordered that are coming. So I will have some things at the end of the month, but they were ordered before July. Um, we'll see how I go with July. I'm not high, holding too many high hopes. Oh, I also remember I got 
PDFs. I don't have them on me. I forgot to print them out. I got the Midnight Zen from Color Kick, which is obviously Japanese related um, midnight scene, so black backgrounds. And I got the um, Anastasia uh, Calderiva's um, PDF. She released on Instagram that if you emailed her, you, you could um, get a PDF pack of 21 of her images from her first three books. So I got that. Yes, I think. I do think. Mm, I'm just going to say, yep, that's it. We'll go with that, hey? Um yeah, uh, next video will, should be my completed pages for the month of June and obviously talking about um, my hashtag for July and then I'll probably do a few flip throughs. Um, thank you very much for being here. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. Um, please comment down below, like, you know, um, let me know what you liked best about what I spent my money on or the happy mail and just yeah the happy mail just blows my mind all right i'm gonna leave it there and say goodbye um as always remember be kind be strong be a warrior and i'll see you later bye